Having a video game habit could be bad for the brain. Yeah, scientists at the University of Montreal took a look at brain scans of frequent video game players and they actually found less gray matter in parts of the brains of the regular players. And it's an area of the brain that in other studies where you had kind of a lower amount of gray matter, they found people at risk for depression or schizophrenia. So this is fascinating because there's a lot of research about video games and it's somewhat conflicting. Uh, the earlier research had said, look, video games aren't as bad as people think. They don't necessarily make kids more violent. That was, that a, was fear a big for concern, sure. Especially with some of the video games that are out there right They're now. They're very, very violent. violent. Most video games, I would say, are probably pretty violent. Yeah. Um, but the research found, no, it doesn't necessarily make kids more violent. It actually found benefits to learning. There's some kind of short-term mm -hmm. memory benefits. It might help with focus, things like that. But this is a specific type of game. Yeah, this one looked at the hippocampus in the brain, which is the part of the brain that kind of helps you remember past experiences, mm -hmm. helps you orient yourself. Yeah, like kind of that spatial awareness. Spatial awareness, mm -hmm. right. And they found, Allie, that especially if you play these first-person shooter games, which, mm -hmm. let's be honest, that's most of what young people are playing, uh, it really hurts. It was a significant amount uh, less of gray matter. Well, and I think it's important too when you think about uh, children who are playing these games, especially if they're playing them at extended periods of time, and you look at what the hippocampus does. And if you see less gray matter in their brain, I mean, you talked about some of it, but it helps with memory. It helps with things like trying to find your way back to your friend's house, trying to find your way back to your own home, and it even helps with memory in terms of remembering random facts. So mm. if you're studying for a test, it could be helpful for that as well. And these are games like Call of Duty, people Yeah, might they're know, the ones you where know. you're so zoomed in and you know, you're looking around walls, mm -hmm. so you're not actually using, okay, there's a tree over there and there's this. The good news is, my favorite game, Mario Kart, you're fine. It doesn't impact us in the same Isn't way. Isn't that interesting? Because yeah. Mario Kart is a game where you actually have to navigate yourself around. And that's the difference. But one thing I think that was an interesting takeaway is, not only are we worried about, okay, potentially, you could develop, you know, uh, be a risk for schizophrenia sure. and whatnot. But if you already have some of those things, if you suffer from PTSD, if you suffer from depression right now, doing not these going games, to help. It, will, it could make it worse, yeah. which is very interesting and I think something important to know. Well, I thought it was even interesting when they looked at uh, this research was they found that taxi cab drivers in London actually have more gray matter in the hippocampus just because of the spatial recognition, because of what they are doing. You on practice a day -day all day basis. navigating, you see landmarks, you work your way around. Mm -hmm. And that was one recommendation they made about these kind of first person shooter games. They're, they're not saying the games are inherently bad, but the games have kind of navigation inside where you can skip around from like yes. one part to another and you just go to the map and zoop, zoom around and they're saying well what if we took all of that navigation away then you'd have to navigate using landmarks yeah. and things in the game and that would be advantageous. Or you could also just use moderation when it comes to playing these games don't play just that one game for 10 hours on end. And you wonder now maybe the, the people and the companies that are creating these games maybe they'll create a game with a little bit more depth, with a little bit mm -hmm. more three-dimensional. And there are, those games are out there. Yeah. People have to buy them, right? True. I mean, so they might not be as much fun, but yeah. they might be better for you. Right. Play Mix Mario Kart. Mario okay. Kart is always fun. It's always so it much is, fun. Yes.